So good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to review, as usual, our latch bar attachment apparatus. I have my family with me. I can't believe it. Three of my grandsons. This is going to be a wonderful day. My daughter is here. My One of my beautiful daughters. I have four of them all together. But only one of them happens to be here at the moment. The other one just left. She didn't want to be a part of this. Okay? So, I have my grandson, Tyler. I have my grandson, Edison. And I have my grandson, Ellis. So, I'm going to get started first. I'm going to do sit-ups. And everyone can, at this point, just watch me. And we will take turns. But I'm not only going to do sit-ups. I'm going to do sit-ups first. Then I'm going to go into crunches. And then I'm going to do a stretch. And from there, I will probably pick up a couple more apparatuses that are over here on my left. And continue our workout. My workout is always a workout demonstration. And it is to introduce all of you to my product and so that you can see the ease of using the latch bar attachment apparatus. So here we go. <clears throat> we have the basic latch bar, which, is, which has a set of long stra straps attached to it and a set, a set of short straps attached. So it helps you do your sit-up without using or putting your hands behind your head or anywhere else on your body. You can actually use the straps to help pull yourself into the sit-up position and strengthen your abs at the same time. It really makes your sit-up a lot easier once you have coordinated yourself in order to do the sit-up. Also, is this like as if someone were holding your feet? No, if you have someone holding your feet and you're coming up and down? That is absolutely true. You do not need a spotter when you're using this attachment. Often enough, when you do sit-ups, you have someone that, that is holding your ankle. My daughter just pointed out that when you're doing it using this method, that you don't need a spotter. How many are you doing? I'm doing 25. That's usually what I do. That's why I'm doing 25. Now I'm going to do one that you don't necessarily have to do, but I know you guys will, will, will want to try it. This is, we're using the same latch bar and it's set up with chains and also very, very heavy duty steel grips. And the reason for that is because we're about to put a lot of force on this system. What we're gonna do is push and pull body resistance. I'll be pushing out with my legs and resisting with my arms. This is an isometric, and you are using your strength to control what you are doing. So there, I just use. Do you do all the all the all the mat exercises while you're down there? I do. Okay. Um, there's one mat exercise I'll be doing um, where the fellows are sitting, 
So once I'm finished over here, I just do this because my arms needs to be stretched out mm. while I'm over here. Because usually I do the front expansion when I'm standing on that side over there. Mm -hmm. So while we have the flat latch bar in place under the mat, we will do a press. You want to make sure that you're lying in the right place on the latch bar so that it does not come out of place. Now, this resistance is very easy so that you'll be able to do these without a problem. So, you do 15 or 20 of these and you will start to feel it even though it has much less resistance. This is the same setup with tubular type resistance bands. And with this setup, I am going to lie on the flat bar and bring the other one over my head. But you need to make sure that that bar is under your shoulder blades because otherwise it's going to come up. This one has a lot more tension. Put it up there and hold it for a minute. Not literally a minute, a few seconds. Then do a few more. Stretch it a little if you have to to get it back over your head. And then take it and put it over to the side. Now we didn't do the six inches up as we normally would do, but I'll do it real quick. Usually you grab the longer straps. Place your feet back on the bar and just six inches up and hold it there. Usually I do about a minute. I'll do 60, uh, 50, 15 seconds. Okay. So that's it for me on the floor for now. Before I usually get up, I always put this stuff back in place so that it doesn't get tangled for the next time. And now I would like to move over to this bench. And I need this mat. So whoever would like to can start on this one. Whoever wants to go next. Go ahead, let's see if I go next. Yeah. Daddy might have to give him some more direction. Not a problem. I would listen. Okay. The longer straps, or the longer straps first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, with you can position it on your foot. You should not use that. You good? Just like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Short of now. Pull your knees up. Slide your butt towards the down a little bit. No, down. Yeah. No. Towards your feet. There you go. There you go. The other down.
I didn't do this stuff. I straps going on over here and we're going to work our we're going to work both of our upper thigh our thigh on the top and we're going to work our hamstrings also so we're going to do the funnel first which is going to make our thigh burn so what you have to do is you sit in the chair and you you pull it so that you have enough resistance already. You get some tension on there. And you may want to do this to keep yourself from going backwards. But once you're there, what you have to do is move your foot forward like that. But I usually do the both at the same time so that you lift them up, lift yourself, your legs up off, off the bench because the bench here, you have an advantage. So if you lift your legs up, you'll feel it in your abdomen. You'll feel the burn on, the, on your your thighs, all right? So, do about 15 to 20 loads. Then, I'm gonna take it off and turn around and do it the other way. The other way is kind of like making a muscle with your hamstring. Now, let's see. 
It's hot. That one. Man. The same thing, you may have to pull this one, you slide the bench back some, like that, so that you don't fall off the bench, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you're doing the same thing. You're going to lift your legs up, pull off the bench, and you're, gonna, you're trying to curl them so that you feel it in your hamstring muscle. The further you move back, obviously, the more tension that you're going to have. Unless you're doing good, man. <laughs> He's a determined guy. <laughs> I know. That's funny, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll be really impressed if you can do that one. How many? Let me see you do five. Five? Okay. Yeah. okay Yeah, you don't want to come sliding up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Yo, what? You're stronger than me. You're stronger than you. Doesn't matter the size, bro. Oh, Bruce Lee. Well, Bruce Lee landed for That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 15. I know. 17. 18. 19. You've got a lot less wobble than you 20. had that time. <laughs> 25. 19. 24. 25. Nice job. Good job, man. <laughs> Very good job. That's what I'm I'm so tired. What you got? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Here What's that sound? I hit the door. And so you can have it. Uh -huh. He wasn't watching him. He doesn't know what to do over there. I'm going to help him out. You want to sit down first. Actually, actually, you're supposed to do a crunch. Stand up. So you have to get down on the floor, put your feet up here on top of that. Slide all the way up. Put your feet up here. Grab the straps. Now do a crunch. Pull yourself up. There you go. That's it. Ball, the ball you forget. Mm -hmm. All right, what's that? Okay, up on the bench. Grab the bar on the top. You want to do what's called a pull down crunch. No, pull down crunch. Back, behind, behind your neck. Uh, and now pull forward, pull forward, you want to crunch. Uh, no. No, with it no. behind you? You want to keep that behind you? Uh, Pull down crunch, yes. <laughs> that one ain't no joke. I need to be real. What was that for the crunches? Uh, then the, um, you did, I did the isometric. You did that? I did the chest expansion. Oh, yeah. And then I did the press. Body resistance. Push out with your, with your legs while you resist with your arms. Pull back with your arms, resist with your legs. Gotcha. Push, pull, push, pull. And don't cheat. Put some effort into it so you get something out of it. Push, pull. 
That's all right. <laughs> you take that sweatshirt off. But I, hey, I say get comfortable. You know? I always turn that fan on back there. Um, side crunch. Can you do a side crunch? Use that bar. You saw me do a side crunch? I did not. Okay. You, you want to hit your elbows or try to hit your... I can make that lighter if you like. You want to try to hit your elbows on the bench. That fan's good. Okay. That fan's too much. That fan feels good. It feels good. That's why it's there. No, let me show you how to do it. Let me show you. Okay, once you have it. All right. You want to try and hit your elbows on the bench. On the bench. That's a good exercise. Ty, that's a good exercise. Yeah. Come on, man. Don't make me laugh. It's. Lean forward, lean forward a little bit. Okay, now keep it here. Now I want you to twist your body so that you go down here with your elbow, like that. Okay? Yeah. Like that. Yeah, like that. It's not a big deal, man. Sometimes you need to start. You need to learn how to do this kind of stuff. That's all. I know how to do it real good. You have to try and you know, use your core. That's what you're really using to do that. And you don't need to do 25 of everything that you say you do. Do what you can do. That's what that's all about. All right? So that you learn how to do it. Tyler, you good? Now, now, you good? I want you to just do some pull downs. I'm letting it resist. Do some pull downs. There you go. All right? Yeah, like that. Do what you can do. Yeah, when you bring it down slow, you get that isometric type effect. I see Junior coming up here. There he is. He's, he's right there. See, when I work out with weights, mm -hmm. it's, it's usually called controlling the weight, right? Yeah. He's right so with that me. You get the entire effect. Exactly. Exactly. So if you bring it down slow, what you're getting huh. is the pullback yeah, right. resistance, which is cool. also That's like an mean, isometric. Mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you explode. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. But with this, you don't really have to explode up. If you go up slowly, you get more out of it. Because remember, this is resistance. It works differently than the weight. The weight you're trying to max out by pushing the weight to its limit, right. the resistance, you're trying to take advantage of the resistance. Right. Okay? Right. So the slower that you do it, the more advanced you're really taking up the resistance. Factor. He's going to come to the front door. He's coming to the front. He's yeah. got a ride. Yeah, there's, there's no lady going home. Okay. Answer, Nick. So, so try the next yeah, one. Go ahead. Um, wait a minute, put them out on the floor, Ellis. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. So bring your legs up as far as you can. You got it? Okay, now, now pull yourself up to do a crunch. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Do as many as you can. That was a little bit more resistance on that time. They feel much better. Whoa. You like that, huh? I know you like it. Yeah, you got good, huh? Well, it's not. It's not good, so yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay. This is, this is a squat bar. All right? Yeah. But in order to do, do that, though, on this one, you have to go into a squat position. Okay? Put it, put it behind your head, and you make sure you're holding and you stand up. All right? Well, do what you can. Okay? I only do, I usually only do 10. But I do a number of sets, though, you know. This one, you, you really can't push it over your head because it has too much tension. I don't have another one over here that has less tension. Thank you. You sure? All right. I don't remember it. Yep, you remember it. Must have been a real long time ago. You remember my regular That's the last time you saw it. Yeah, but I didn't go to the funeral. It feels good, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're doing well. I told Alfredo I was going to go see her. You know, like. Like I told my grandma the same thing. I don't want to see her dead. No, you want to do what? Yeah. Go to a squat position to take it off when you're ready. Okay. Bring it back forward, though. Okay. All right. All right. Now let me show you the other one. I told him where. That's all right, but you understood. Wait, what? What's the side to side? Side to side push. Put it behind your head. I don't remember. Same way. And you want to twist your body, torque your body. Yeah, Like that. As far as you can. Yes. From one side to the other. And moving this right as, and pulling down as far as you can. You okay? Can yes. Yes. Keep your hands further apart. Okay. Like that. Yes. All right. This one, you can actually press it. Hear from your mother. And squat. You can squat with it. Usually when you squat, you want to make sure that the bar is towards the back of your foot, not on the front. If it's towards the front of your feet, you're going to be off balance. All right? So you can also, with this one, you can also curl. So you can squat, press, and curl. With this one, not with that one. That one has too much tension. Unless you're a real strong son, guys. <laughs> Which um, I don't think any of us are. You want to try this one? Sure. Now, when you squat, you want to keep your feet further apart so that you have better balance. And you want to, you want your front foot to be, you want, yeah, you want that to be on the back, like that. Okay. Now you can squat, no problem. Wait, is this one recording as well? No, that's not one, but the iPhone is on. Who's the down for? Um, it's it's gonna be set up. It doesn't work. I haven't gotten it to work right yet. Mm -hmm. It records in three different segments. Right. I want it to be on one segment. So I haven't figured it out. Exciting. It is. I haven't figured it out. That's yeah. 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 Me? Let me see your present. That's good. You're, you're doing fine. You're doing good. You, 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 you're gonna be skinny. You're gonna be skinny until you become an adult. That's okay. Hey, Tyler wasn't that like that. He was skinny too. Yes, yes, you were. Yes, you, you, you had you had muscle, but you were skinny too. You you weren't fat because you're still not fat. I hope you don't get fat. So be careful. As long as you work out, you shouldn't get. Let's, okay, let's let's press. Do a press. There you go. There you go. Wait, you did it down the front or the back? No, you did it. You did it. You did it. There it is. There you go. That's really hard. That's good. Hey, did you try it? No, I didn't try it. That's good. That's good. And you gotta try that. That's good, man. Now make sure you're standing on that thing correctly. Because you can lose your balance easily. You, you want more of the front. Your, your feet are bigger, but you don't want the front to hold it. You want more of the arch. Put it, yeah, put, put in your arch. Yeah, it's, it's good for you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you gotta be careful not to hit yourself in the head with this thing. Mm hmm. Looking good. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that, that one's hard. <laughs> no, the hard, the harder one is this one. Come here. The harder one. Yeah, the harder one. Yeah. You you wouldn't be able to do this one. Crunch. Alex, come here. Yeah. I want you to do a squat with this one. I don't. You can't do no press with this. I know you can't. Turn around. Well, you do you know way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm mean, I'm standing in your way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your hands right. Yeah. You see the difference? Yeah. This one has a lot more tension. A lot more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I couldn't press at all with this. Yeah. Yes. No. The only advantage you would have is because you're a little shorter. And he might be able to do it. But trust me. You, you, you'll see. You'll see when you, when you do it. Now, Tyler has tree, tree trunk legs, mm. so this will be really easier for him. Yeah, you need to. That's what I say. You, the back of your foot you need to be on it because you can feel it going up on your feet. Yeah. <laughs> It's not heavy, but no. you feel the resistance. You feel it. And the point is, you, you really don't want to be um, doing it to the point that it's, it's going to hurt. Or be too much, you know? Because if it is, then you're not going to enjoy doing it, you know? So, as you can see, Tyler was able to press that. That gives me problems to press. So I don't press it. Yeah. I have a bad shoulder. My left shoulder is really bad. This here is a pull bar. So you just stand on this with the front of your feet and you do pulls, okay? And the same thing, this is the same thing right here. And it has four resistance bands. It has a more, it has more tension than this one does. Now, Basically, this is the same thing too. And it only has two bands. Check it out. That's the hardest one? Huh? That's the hardest one? It's just as hard as these two. It's harder than this one. It's probably equal to that one. The thing too is you can make them all more, more difficult mm -hmm. just by adding more resistance. And there's another one that has a single over here. You can, you can actually do curls with this one. That one isn't easy to do curl curls. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You have to use your body against that one to do them. Uh, they got a pose. Hmm? They got a pose. Yeah, so. That's higher? Yeah, so, I mean, so pose probably a little bit more for you because you're slower. Mm -hmm. So you just don't get a lot of resistance. At oh, yeah, now it's exactly, more resistance. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's the way it works. This one's much easier than you. Yeah, that's why. That, that's why that thing was easier for me than you. Because uh, yeah. it's shorter. Yeah. Yeah. You had more. Yeah, you more, more that was easier to do a curl, mm -hmm. but it's but it's still it still worked too. And you can do chest expansion with this one. The other one, there's another one over here, which has just to show that it has double bands that you can do. It. To make your, your life more miserable, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So that one, you have this one. 
Hmm? Which one is that in the way? Obviously, you can add more onto that if you want to change it. This is like a side press. You can use it as a, a pull, but what I usually do with this is, is lean over to this side, so it's like a crunch. Yeah. You know? Yes, yes. Gotta eat it off. Check that out. Then I usually just start all over and do the same thing from the beginning. Then you want to keep your foot firmly on there. And that's been basically uh, most of it. Well, have you sold any of these? Sure. Put your foot on there firmly. And yeah, you want to lean. Yeah, you lean to that side as much as you can. Yeah, like that. Are they still on Amazon? Uh, not on Amazon. They're on Walmart. Oh, really? It was on Amazon, and they gave me such a problem. Oh, really? Yeah, they're paying the ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, they're on uh, Walmart. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. And, of course, it's on my website. Which I'd rather drive people to my website because every other website, they charge you money. Amazon can't yeah, charge you the most. Yeah, they take part of the money. They charge you the most. How they much? charge you a lot of money. 1%. About 15%. All right. Oh, yeah. Amazon rips your tail off. Yeah. Dang. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah.